Hi friends! It's Miss Sarah here from Hudson Area Public Library. And welcome to Hudson Area Public Library Story in a Bag. What is that you wonder? Well, let me tell you. Creativity is something that all of us have. It can help us in so many ways. It can keep us from being bored. It can keep us flexible and help us solve problems. And in the words of my five-year-old, creativity makes things more fun. Well, hopefully you know by now that story time is available uh, at the normally scheduled times on our YouTube channel. However, we can't leave them up for you to watch whenever it is convenient for you. Uh, the permissions that we get from the publishers only let us read the story online and then take it down. So I started thinking, what could we do to keep a story online for you to watch whenever you want? That's how I came up with the idea of story in a bag. What is it you ask? Well, it is randomly written and fantastically fun. It will be completely different every time and you can help. Together we can make a fun story and it's something that you can do at home too. Basically, you submit your ideas for characters, the setting, actions, and more. I put each subject into paper bags and um, when needed, I reach into the bag to fill in our story. Our stories will be written and since they aren't published yet, <laughs> we can keep them on our YouTube page. For this for first story in a bag, I have asked my, um, my kids for ideas of the characters and the settings and the actions and I have um, made printed out pictures that I can put on the felt board to help illustrate the story. Now, if you guys like this idea, I would love for you to send me your ideas of settings and characters and I will try to, to um, find pictures to go along with them and then when I pull them out of the bag, if I pull out yours, I can say your name. So I would love for you to help me out with this idea if you enjoy, um, enjoy it. The stories might get kind of crazy and who knows what we'll come up with, but this is something that you can even do at home. So to give you an idea, my first bag is a bag of settings. What's a setting you ask? Uh, a setting is where the story takes place. You always need the story to be somewhere. So things that my girls came up with are on a playground or in a wizarding world, in outer space, in Hollywood, in a movie theater, in Japan, in my daughter Maggie's words, in a boring, perfectly normal house. In a garden. On an island. In a fairyland. And then last but not least, in tulip time in Pella, Iowa. We moved here from Pella and every year they had a celebration that uh, celebrated the town's Dutch heritage and they plant a ton of tulips every year and it's beautiful and, and people dress up in Dutch costumes and it's really fun. So my kids wanted to represent tulip time as well. Uh, so these are settings that I have in my bag labeled settings. The first thing I'm going to do is put all of these settings back in and we will randomly pull one out and start our story. So, let's take them up and without looking, I'll just reach in here and our story is going to be in outer space. Okay. Well, what do you need next when you have a story? We know that this one is in outer space. And um, now we need characters. So 
I have different characters that my girls came up with in this bag. And when I hear from you, I will add more to the bag. But let's draw out, how about we, we draw out three characters to start with in our story, okay? So let's see here. In our story today, we have a dragon. And we have one, two, three, four, five girls. And a snake. So those are our characters for the story in outer space. A dragon, five girls, and a snake. So what do you think now? Should we give the characters names? Now for this first batch. I think uh, we have a mixture of boys and girls names, so we'll see what, what we end up with. We can always draw again if we need to. But let's name the dragon Kiki. So the dragon's name is Kiki. And let's name the snake Jennifer. And now we need five names for the girls. So let's see, the first one that I pulled out is Lucy and Fluffy. So we have Lucy and Fluffy and Albert. <laughs> this one will be Albert and Squirt. And the last name we have is Autumn. So we have Kiki the dragon, Jennifer the snake, Lucy, Fluffy, Albert, Squirt, and Autumn in outer space. So next, what do we need for our story? We know the characters, we know the setting. We need a phrase to start our story. So I have a bag here labeled beginning phrase. And you can come up and submit your ideas too. We would love new phrases. But this story will start with the phrase one morning. So one morning in outer space, Lucy, Fluffy, Albert, Squirt, and Autumn met up with a dragon named Kiki and a snake named Jennifer. What action do you think they did when the girls met the dragon and the snake? Should we pull an action out of the bag and see what they did? The girls tromped through the mud. Do you think there's mud in outer space? It's a pretty silly story already. So the girls tromp through the mud. Do you think they were trying to get away from the dragon and the snake? Or do you think they were trying to get closer to? I think they were probably trying to get closer to. Because this dragon and snake, they look pretty, uh, pretty friendly. And I bet they were going to have fun in outer space. Should we take another action now that they are together? Um, what they should do together? Let's pull something else out of the bag. So the five girls, the dragon and the snake, walked over to her sister's room. Do you think these girls are all sisters? Maybe they all walked over to Autumn's room. Do you think Autumn's room is on this planet here? And what do you think they played with in Autumn's room? Let's pull a noun out of the bag. The nouns are persons, places, or things. And so let's find out what they played with in Autumn's room one morning in outer space. They played with the fridge. Do you think they cleaned the fridge for their mom? So one morning in outer space, they moved the fridge into Autumn's room and... <laughs> and Kiki, the dinosaur, and Jennifer, the snake, helped clean it out. Jennifer licked, and Kiki dried with her fire. Then, 
Shall we pull out another action? Okay, here's another action. After the fridge was clean, the five girls, the dragon and the dinosaur and the snake, climbed a tree. How many trees do you think they are in outer space? What do you think they look like? I bet this tree was really big and had really long branches. And they each sat on their own branch and they hung out. Well, what should they do after they climb the tree? Actually, sitting in the tree. How about we pick a noun? Sitting in the tree. Uh, let's see here. Their names are Lucy, Fluffy, and Albert. Let's say Albert looked down and said, Hey guys, look at that. I see floating. We'll pull out a noun. Oh, those are names. Let's pull out a noun. I see floating famous people in outer space. <laughs> so it looks like Lucy is laughing at the floating famous people, but they were probably all having the view of their life. And then um, Squirt calls out, hey, look. The famous people are all holding, we'll pull out another noun, they're all holding plants. I wonder what kind of plants are in outer space that can live. Well, that can be the story for you to continue at home. So one morning in outer space, five girls met Kiki and Jennifer, a dragon and a snake. Together, the dragon and the snake helped them clean out the fridge in Autumn's room and then they went and climbed a tree and from the tree they saw floating famous people holding plants. Such a silly story. Now this is something that you can totally do at home, a story in a bag, just by making up, making up settings, making up characters. Your characters could be your stuffed animals or something else. If you have little action figures or cars, you could put them all into a bag, close your eyes and pull one out. And it can be lots of fun. You could put on little plays or little shows for your family. It's just something that you can do. Uh, and so I will, I will hope to hear from you on ideas to put in my bags of actions or nouns or beginning phrases for our, for our stories, settings, characters. If you wanna see, I can show you some other characters that my girls came up with. We have a dog, a mermaid, a kitten, a dancing pickle. Let's see what's else in the bag. Oh, a unicorn. talking bananas and we would love to hear your ideas too. Other um, phrases for beginning our stories that my girls came up with were once upon a time on a dark and stormy night long long ago During a blizzard, and before anyone could say anything. So those are just some ideas, and I would love to hear yours. Please join me every week as we do a story in a bag. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Please like us and subscribe on our YouTube page.